today we are going to learn this topic uh, data centric and client centric consistency models before moving uh, want to uh, indicate the bullet points of this presentation first we will see the application some idea about application then we will uh, discuss two models uh, data centric consistency model and client centric consistency model okay and then we will uh, discuss the latest paper of ITP and their differences Somebody so, also about mentioning the papers, which is already given some restrictions. Okay. So, uh, the application means, uh, so far as we have learned about distributed system, and in the previous section we were discussing about fault tolerance and that recovery uh, system and all. So, uh, it is clear to us that for for we want our distributed system to be uh, working to be in the working uh, condition under faults also. We want them to work properly uh, even there are uh, many faults and it could, it could tolerate the faults and all. So uh, for this we maintain, we do something, we maintain the copies of the main server or main data and we call them replicas. We could have the replicas of server also or replicas of data also. So uh, now we want that replicas also in the con consistent state. Okay. This is not the means that I have the replicas, so many replicas of the main copy, but it is not reflecting the exact thing which is in the main copy. Whatever operations are being made on this main should reflect also in each and every replica, right? So uh, uh, only the replication is not the issue. Uh, we want to increase also the reliability as well as the performance. How can we increase the reliability? Mm, suppose I have three copies, three replicas of uh, main copy and uh, re reliable if my system is reliable if at least two of the replicas give the same answer okay then at least two thing is at least two should give the same answer then our system is reliable and performance how replication increase the performance uh, our main server uh, suppose it has uh, line version 